Hi there, this is Save With Crypto. Uh, yet again, I'm back on a rubbish connection, actually on my phone connection, because I'm actually back in France uh, with a big van clearing up the rest of my stuff from my house. Uh, it wouldn't all fit in the trailer that I took over last time. So I'm doing another 3,000 kilometre round trip to get the rest of my stuff. So uh, I don't have any internet here. Uh, I've got one single bed a saucepan and some tea bags and no fridge. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's pretty minimal uh, existence right here at the moment. Um, aiming to go back on Monday and uh, that'll be the final trip then. So uh, back at home, my new home, I have now got 100 meg fibre. So that's all cool. I can actually have up to 2 gig fibre, which is incredible but it's quite expensive. It's like 60 quid a month. So uh, I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to be able to surprise myself again <laughs> in the future. Or, you know, I might not need that much, you know, but it, either way, it's 100 times better than what I've been used to. So I think that's cool. Okay, so what I wanted to do was just uh, show you a few things, really. Look, this is Bitcoin, right, since November. Right, since November, it's down about 71%, okay? Uh, this is e-gold since November, and that is down from there a astonishing 88%, something like that. Uh, MEX, uh, MEX is down from November also, well, quite a quite a lot 96 percent something like that now um these are obviously very rough figures the point is the whole market's down at the moment so if you're worrying about mex then uh if, you know it does look like it's going one way but the problem is we only know mex since november and obviously at the start it had this kind of like massive great pump and then it's just kind of died off since uh, I'm not worrying about it. I think long term this will be fine. Uh, short term it might not be. Uh, but I don't think there's anything to worry about. I don't think it's going to go to zero. I mean, obviously the figures, you know, 0. 0.000 whatever, 623 of a dollar, you know, looks like almost zero. But there's, you know, there's a long way to zero for a, 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 a token that has a supply of 8 trillion, you know. So these figures are always going to be small. But uh, nevertheless, uh, I'm fairly confident in a couple of years' time, you know, we'll see this decimal point jump a few that way, I'm sure. At least one, maybe two. And, uh, you know, we'll see a 10x or a 100x or something uh, along those lines. But, you know, either way, while people are worrying about LKMX uh, and MEX, uh, I am just getting more of it. Uh, last week I was talking about maybe getting a bunch of LK Mex and maybe uh, selling it for e gold on the locked Mex exchange. Uh, I still don't know if I'm going to do that. I might do it in this video. Uh, I'm going to see how much it's worth though before I do that. So, uh, you know, the point is I'm saying there is don't worry too much. Uh, about Mex, that's obviously not financial advice. If you want to stop farming it or uh, you want to sell it, then just do it. But that is your decision. That's not something that I'm doing. Something that I am doing is uh, I joined that Martini guys uh, uh, trading, uh, not what's it called, uh, trading competition on Bybit, and uh, I was actually number nine for a while in his team. I'm actually number eleven now, which is a bit bit rubbish because I did a I did a did some nice trades I mean I kind of had this rule with myself that I don't trade while I'm traveling and uh, I kind of broke my rule slightly and I actually I had an ethereum trade and I had a a bitcoin trade that were both looking pretty good I mean you can see my uh, bitcoin trades here this one here was a bit of a mistake I kind of uh, I, I don't know I I I had a stop loss in a stupid place and uh, uh, it kind of closed with a with a loss of uh, 0 0.017 Bitcoin, which is a bit painful. I think that's, uh, what's that? That's about uh, about two or three hundred dollars. Uh, but yesterday, uh, my profit was 0 0.11 uh, 
uh, Bitcoin. So it's obviously, you know, uh, over two thousand dollars, which is great. I also had an Ethereum trade as well that was, uh, you know, a similar kind of gain. So you know, I made it made a, I don't know, it was about three thousand uh, dollars whilst I was traveling, and I actually closed both both the trades when I was on the on the ferry from uh, Dover to Calais, uh, which uh, kind of felt quite good actually. And it did temporarily put me at number nine in that Martini guys uh, squad, but unfortunately now I'm on uh, number eleven. This is kind of important because if uh, if he does win, and there's a possibility he might, he's not doing so well globally at the moment, but he's doing very well with uh, English speaking uh, uh, squads on the competition. At the moment, uh, yeah, I mean, globally, not he's not doing amazing. So if, if you're in the top 10, you get a much higher percentage of the winning. So uh, that's what I'm aiming to do. So what I decided to do was just FOMO into a, a Bitcoin trade this morning when I saw lots of red candles. And I thought it was probably a good time to go long. Uh, it's not so good now because I'm actually $182 down. But I'm, uh, I, I'm fairly confident that uh, this will probably bounce back up and I've also got another limit order set here at uh, 20,340 I probably should have just gone for that in the first place and all I'm looking for here is enough percentage just to put me back in the top 10 uh, if you are interested in trading on Bybit uh, please use my link uh, you can find it by going to savewithcrypto.org forward slash Bybit and that will uh, forward you to my affiliate link where you get up to a $4,050 bonus for free Anyway, so over on the MyRDEX, uh, yet again, I forgot about the meta bonding last Thursday. So I'm going to see what there is to claim. Um, so I've got all I've got staked is 312 e gold, no LKMX. And uh, it still says preparing UTK distribution for Utrust, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, there is, however, eight Zoid pay I can get and some. Uh, this other stuff so I might as well claim all that now so I'm getting this just because I've got uh, our on state on the my Art app which I think is a perfectly good place to uh, stake your yeah, our uh, you can stake our on uh, on Binance as well uh, I haven't quite looked at that but you obviously won't benefit from the meta bonding but yeah maybe that's something I should look at so if you'd like me to look at that please do comment below but meanwhile, uh, yeah, there's that I've done. Just going to have a look to see if there's anything uh, in the meta staking I can claim. Uh, I can harvest some UTK and there's also some ride I can harvest. So I may as well harvest that and also the UTK as well. So the real question here is uh, what do I do with my LK Max that I've earned? Uh, since last Saturday. I mean, it's quite a bit, to be honest. There's like $565 worth on the uh, MEX farm and there's $1,100 worth uh, on the LP farm. So uh, I suppose it'd be interesting to see what I would get if I if I sold that on the Locked MEX exchange. That would actually be, what would that be? That would be 17 million plus uh, 9 million or so. We're talking about 26 million mechs. So let's have a quick look. So if I was going to swap 26, 26 million LK mechs for e-gold, I would get 7.5 e-gold. Uh, 7.5 e-gold today. Uh, e-gold's about 58 bucks. So let's say 58 times... 7.5 equals 435 bucks. Doesn't really seem worth it, does it? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep farming mechs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to compound all the earnings from here in here. I know I said I'd look at the locked mechs exchange, but I just don't think it's worth it because, you know, we're talking $1,600 worth of LK mechs to get 400 odd bucks worth. I'm going to put my money on the fact that MEX is going to be worth a lot more in the future than it's worth today. So I'm going to harvest all this. I'm going to reinvest all that. And then I'm going to stake everything in here. But first what I need to do is to merge my LK MEX. So I'm going to do that here. 
So I'm going to merge all this. And you can see here I've got $29,307 worth of LKMX. So I'm going to stake uh, this new lot in there. Maximum. Okay, so there's $30,616 worth of LKMX in there. Okay, that's what I'm going to do for the time being. I know it's a bit boring, but that's what I'm going to do. My, my thinking is, is with the Loctomex exchange, if people want your LKMX and they're prepared to give you uh, e-gold for it, then it's worth something, you know. And uh, I think this exchange here is just here to make money. I think the people involved with it believe in LKMX, and so do I. So I'm not going to give it to them. Anyway, just before I go, I just want to have a quick look at Binance and see what you can get on the Earn, Binance Earn, for eGold. So let's have a look at that. Uh, so if I search for EGLD. Okay, so here it looks like if you were to um, lock it up for 30 days, you can get 7.95 APY. 60 days, 12.98, not bad. 90, 16.58, phenomenal. Uh, 120, and you only have to lock up 0 0.01 e-gold. You could get 23.59%. That seems quite amazing, really, doesn't it? Okay, so it looks like the interest period is like for one day. So maybe that can vary over time. So if you're interested in me looking into this a bit further, then uh, leave a comment below and uh, maybe I'll get an e-gold and put it into it and see uh, see what happens. Uh, but yeah, it looks interesting anyway. Uh, it's obviously a centralised exchange and not a decentralised exchange. So, uh, you know, there are the uh, the kind of risks of, uh, of, of people in charge there and, you know, bosses and things like that. But that's just how it is. So uh, there's that anyway. So yeah, leave me a comment anyway if you want me to look at that. Uh, as another way to make money with your e-gold uh, but while you're down there give the video a like make sure you're subscribed make sure you've got notifications set on all and above all tell your friends